Hey folks, Sean here with the latest edition of Beer Snobby Goodness. Now tonight's edition, I've been looking forward to this one, at least getting it started for probably a month now. Uh, this is going to continue my Harvey Stoon Brewing series, and this one, this one right here is going to be at the core of all of it. Old Engine Oil. Now this is one that I purchased strictly because of the name. I, I do that sometimes, and the reason being is when I first moved out to Pennsylvania, I'll, uh, I'll pour while I pontificate. When I first moved out to Pennsylvania, you know, Guinness was my beer of choice whenever I went to the bars. And basically, I, I'm surrounded by people, you know, they, they like yingling. They, they like Yingling, Coors Light, especially Yingling. They, they would take one look at my Guinness and say, Ugh, how do you drink that motor oil? It looks like used motor oil. Blech. So th that's the reason I, I see a beer that, that is actually named what I've often had my beer described as and had to go for it. So this is Old Engine Oil. And it's, uh, I'd have to say aptly named. It's about what it looks like. Oh, uh, but it does not smell like it. <clears throat> mm. Very roasty aroma on this thing. Okay, and this is uh, pretty modest. This is 6% uh, alcohol by volume. And I'm going directly to the website to give you the guts of this thing. This was uh, brewed utilizing Galena... East Kent Goldings and Fuggles Hops. Uh, utilized roasted barley and oat malts. And has an IBU rating of 40. This is, um... Hmm. Now just, I'm, I'm noting what's also on the website here. It describes the smell, um, the aroma is dark cherries, roasted malts, uh, coffee grounds. Little touch of the coffee, but I'm, but I'm definitely the roasted malt, very very prominent on the nose, and the taste is certainly promising. Dark chocolate, creamy coffee, burnt toast, sweet caramel. So, yes, as I said, you know it, it'll become clear in the coming days why I consider this the uh, the core of my current Harvey Stone beer series. In the meantime, cheers. Ah, <laughs> that was really, really good. So yes, um, old engine oil. It uh, it most definitely doesn't taste like old engine oil. It, it just it tastes like beautiful roasted chocolate and coffee and just all, all the things I love the most about a, a dark beer, especially the ones that are done over in Europe. They uh. They are, they are the true masters at the smooth, dark porter. So, so yes. <clears throat> Old Engine Oil. Beer Snobby Approved. This is, um... Yeah. That's actually about all I got on that. <clears throat> just excellent, solid flavor. It And the flavor just improves as the beer warms. You know, another reason I prefer darks over lights. And besides, the, the stuff that's done in Europe, it's not meant to be chilled anyway. I mean, they, they do things at room temperature. So, <clears throat> so yes, old engine oil. Stay tuned um, on my next installment, where I'll be doing another variation of old engine oil. Old engine oil, engineer's reserve. I'll go into more of that during that uh, particular update. Until then, this is Sean. Cheers.